Hey everybody, this is another video in the Free Sky series, and today I wanted to talk about flight modes. And I have my eFlight um, F14, it's a bind and fly plane, and I bound it using the um, external module, the IRX4 external module, to my X20S. Now, um, with this plane, it's got variable wing sweep. There's mid position over there, there's full sweep, and there is wings fully out. Okay, now, unfortunately, you do have to have a different trim setting for each of those modes. Um, so the way you accomplish that is with flight modes. Um, with regular RC plane guys, uh, flight modes aren't used that often unless you have a very complicated setup. Um, but people do use them for flaps, and I don't because I run my flaps differently. Um, so I figured in order to do a flight mode video, I should do it on this since I'm binding this plane um, already. So, all right, let's get into it. So first of all, flight modes. What they are is flight modes are different trims for the different flight modes. So your elevator, for example, in your flaps, when you would deploy your flaps, um, it has a tendency to rise. So you trim it um, based on that only when you activate the flight mode that turns on the flaps. Um, and that's essentially what flight, flight modes are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and program flight modes to be controlled by this switch, which is my wing sweep switch. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to go into model. So you either hit that button or this one over here and you go into trims. Okay, now you have to activate which surfaces you would like flight modes to affect. So top of the screen is rudder. Okay, so independent trim per flight mode on rudder. No, this plane doesn't have rudder. The only thing that this plane has is elevators or elevons, which is the rear surfaces. That's all it has. Um, so essentially, by the way, um, on this radio, you do not program the Elevon mix in the radio. It's actually done um, with a lot of flight um, um, e-flight planes. They do the same thing where they actually do um, those kind of mixes inside the receiver. So you set your radio up as a normal, um, you know, four channel plane elevator um, and aileron separately. Um, and then you add your um, safe switch and your wing sweep switch. Okay, so anyways, um, so on this one, the top one is rudder. We don't need to do that. That's just no steering on this plane. And on this plane, we do have to do elevator. So the next items are for elevator. And over there is independent trim per flight mode. Okay, and we want to turn that on. That turns it on just for elevator. Okay, so we go down and there's aileron. And we turn that on over there for aileron, okay? So that allows you to have independent aileron and elevator when you have a separate flight mode. So the next thing we wanna do, obviously, is to turn on flight modes. Okay, so right now, I just went into the flight modes menu, and by the way, um, if that was a little bit quick, that was from model, and then, let's just do it again, okay? So from model and then flight modes, okay? So default flight mode is what you fly in. That's, you know, um, what you have set up. Now, I'm going to add some more flight modes. So we'll make the default flight modes with the wings fully out, okay? And the next one that we're going to add, so we just go ahead and go to add over here, and let's call this one mid sweep. Okay, active condition. Okay, this is when, this is how you want to trigger that flight mode. And I'm going to go ahead and do the mid sweep um, switch, okay? And then we have fade in, fade out. We'll do that later. Um, I'll show you what that is later on. And let's add another flight mode, okay? The flight mode is full sweep. Not sleep. <laughs> okay, so let's just go back. Okay, full sweep, that's more like it. Enter, okay. Active condition is gonna be there, and that's when his wings fully sweep. Okay, um, that's it. 
Okay, let's go ahead and ch uh, check it and make sure that it works. Okay, so right now there is my elevator going up and down. So let's just say in regular flight mode, which is the wings fully out, let's have the elevators fully up. We're going to trim the elevators fully up. Okay, so now you'll see it'll pop once I hit that switch to that position. Okay, and then now let's say in the full sweep position, the elevator trim is all the way down. Max reached. Okay, so now when I hit the, the, um, the sweep, it'll change to that trim setting. Okay. Okay, so the only thing we have to do is like right now it just pops into, into position. So the only thing that we have to do now is go back into flight modes. Let's go to default flight modes. And I kind of timed it. it, seemed to be about two and a half seconds for that wing sweep to happen. So let's edit it. And then this is where we do our fade in and fade out. We'll set that to two and a half seconds. And two and a half seconds. For fade in, fade out. And we'll go to mid sweep edit and we'll do the same thing we'll go two and a half seconds and two and a half seconds okay one more full sweep edit two and a half seconds I'm bad using this jog rub knob. Okay, there we go. Now let's double check. Throttle active. Throttle disabled. Sorry, just wanted to check something. Okay, all right, let's check it now. That's about right. And that's about right. Okay. So that's it. So what I would do now, of course, obviously is reset my trims, fly the plane, trim it for each of the different flight modes and I'm set and I'm ready to go. Okay. Um, let's just look at a couple of other things. If you're going to look at um, uh, flight mode. So if you were to do that, for example, for flaps, all you would do is in here, oh, oh, here in trims, you would just activate the elevator one because it's the only one you're concerned with. So you would have that turned on independent trim for flight modes and everything else would be off. Okay, and you would at, let's say that a lot of people use this switch for their flaps, and you would have your flight modes attached to this switch. Okay, it's the same way that we had it for this one, um, and then you would adjust the elevator um, once you're you know flying and stuff, and get it all trimmed in. It's kind of a nice way to do it. Um, I don't do it because I use a slider, so it needs to be linear. It can't just be a position. So because I use a slider for my flaps, that won't work for me. Okay, so I'm done with the setup on this, um, but I did want to show you one more thing uh, when it comes to flight modes. So let's go into Mixer. Let's go to Ailerons over here. Let's edit it, okay? And now that we have flight modes activated, there's another button over here called Flight Modes, and it says D1 and, oh, sorry, D1 and D2, uh, D1 and 2. And what that means is default flight mode, uh, flight mode one, which is the mid sweep, and flight mode two, okay? So what this is, is this particular mix is active. So this aileron mix, which allows me to do that, um, is active when I have all three flight modes. If I wanted to, I can say, you know what? This flight mode is only for when, when, when I'm in full sweep. Okay, so now it doesn't work. Mid position, and it doesn't work. And full sweep. And now my ailerons work, okay? So you could have a mix that is just for a particular flight mode, and then you create another aileron mix that is for the other flight modes if for whatever reason. Um, um, don't need to do that. I just wanted to show you that um, flight modes can be attached to mixes, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put that back before I forget and crash this plane. Okay, now they should be active in all mixes. There it is. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so that's flight modes. Um, you can think about different ways that you can use it. Um, I think glider guys are very good at flight mode because they use it all the time for their different modes like spoilers on, flaps on, and, 
you know, camber and start mode and everything else. So um, they use it. Uh, for us plain guys, we don't use it quite as much, but you can see how you would have, an, like every once in a while, you, you will have a use case to use it. So it's good to know. So um, that's it. Um, thank you guys very much for um, watching and uh, like and subscribe, which does help the channel quite a bit. So thank you very much and um, have a good day. Bye.